This video has been supported by these lovely people you see before you. With the support I get from my Patreons, I can give you guys regular content and updates. It also helps me give back to you guys so I can afford to do giveaways and tutorials more often. So what are you waiting for? Go check me out on Patreon and from just $1 a month, you can support me and the channel and get some great rewards. Enjoy the video. Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Make a Masterclass. Today, I'm going to give you some quick tips on how to improve your fursuit. Now before we get into it, a little disclaimer. These are tips for when you've made your own fursuit. I wouldn't recommend adding these to suits that were not made by you. Now that's out of the way, let's dive in. So you made your first fursuit, you think it's all done, you're ready to wear it. However, as time goes on, you feel the need to improve your suit a bit. So what can you do? Number one, lining your fursuit. A great way to add a little extra bit of quality to your fursuit is to fully line the inside of your head. This can be done before or after you start your head. The best material to use is lycra or similar. You can actually get it custom printed and this is something people offer with their fursuit commissions. Not only does it add a professional touch, but it also helps protect the inside raw foam of the fursuit head, allowing the suit to last longer. It can be done by building your head on a balaclava lining to begin with or after. By taping the inside, making a pattern out of the tape, cutting and sewing the lycra, gluing it back into the head, and sewing all the seams to finish. Number two, adding fur definition. A lot of professional fursuits have areas of long and short fur to create definition in the suit. The most common example of this is on the face. It can be achieved through pre-shaving fur or precise shave techniques. Allowing the fur to be longer immediately after a short section creates a dynamic look to the suit. Another great place to do this is on bodysuits either using short fur as a way of accenting the look or long. Often makers will put just a bit more extra chest fluff to make the character look extra poofy. Number three, sewing any open seams. A common mistake newer makers make is not sewing all your seams closed. So when you have a bit of fur on the head you can't sew together before you glue it, often people will leave it glued together. So why not tidy that up and take a needle and thread to it? Fur hides almost all thread, so go ahead with confidence and fix those seams. You can also go over all your straight machine stitches or hand sewing with a zigzag to reinforce for durability. It can be the difference between a pop seam being catastrophic or simply a quick fix. Number four, wait, four, adding stuffing zips. Adding stuffing zips to your tail, stitch grade padding, or any other stuffed items allows stuffing to be removed and makes it easier to put these items in the washing machine and drastically reduce drying time. It can make it easier to transport overseas, such as removing your stuffing, placing it into a vacuum bag, or reduce the size in your luggage. It also generally looks and feels professional, so you can give your suits one more extra feature. Number five, adding removable slash posable stuff. Eyelids and tongues, they're all the rage in the current fursuit climate, so why not add some to your own suit? They can be done via magnets or velcro and would just require a little bit of fursuit plastic surgery to install. Add some magnets under the fur around your eyes or in your mouth and then add some to the back of a thick piece of plastic, EVA foam or metal which has been furred to look like an eyebrow or a tongue. Just be sure to get the polarities right. Or if you're using velcro, glue or sew a strip to where you want the item to come from around the black eye outlined for eyelids and in the mouth for tongues and attach the opposite side who what you want to put there. So, what do you guys think of these extra little tips? What do you add to your suits to give them a little bit of extra edge? Let me know down below. If you want to support me, you can join my list of wonderful Patreons and get some fursuit making help whenever you'd like, along with many other awesome rewards. That's it for this week, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh. <laughs>